Tough Times Bring Unexpected Blessings by Sarah White. Being told I would never have a child, I tucked it far in the back of my mind. After eight years of marriage, my world went into a tailspin and my husband became a man I had never met, taking me into a world of tears, sadness, and trepidation and fear. I was filled with anxiety I never thought possible, falling into a world that was foreign to me. A life with no husband, no home, and no children, and an autoimmune disease making my life limited as to what I can do. I felt as though my life was over and I would be alone for the rest of it. Because of my autoimmune disease, I had been to many doctors for numerous medical issues. During the height of my marriage failing, I again started not to feel well. I couldn't stay awake. My kidneys were killing me, and I thought I was having a nervous breakdown. My doctors didn't know what was wrong. Finally, one doctor decided to take a CT scan of my stomach, and I was walking out of her office. She stopped me and said, let's take an emergency pregnancy test just to be sure. She said, I know you're probably not pregnant, but I would feel horrible if this was the 1% chance you were. I laughed and said, whatever, there's no way. Immediately after my appointment, I called my mom frantically crying. My mom was scared to death as I went on crying and swearing and telling her I was five and a half months pregnant. Five and a half months! How could I not have known? Am I an idiot? With my life falling apart and being told I would never have children and with all my medical conditions, that was the last thing I was thinking. She was dumbfounded. Did you hear what I just said, Mom? I went from finding out I was pregnant to finding out it was a beautiful baby boy all in one day. That night I was sitting at home by myself crying. I looked down and touched my stomach and said, Hi, Jack. I didn't even know what to think. He was just Jack. Within two days, my mom drove to stay with me through all my appointments. My mom and I never spoke of babies or baby names because she knew how painful it was for me to talk about. On her drive down, she told me that she kept hearing a name go through her head. I told her that I'd already picked one out and asked her what name she had picked. Jack, she said. I said, what? That's the name I picked. My mom is very religious, and she quoted to me from the book of Psalms immediately, quote, you knitted me in your mother's womb. You knew me before I was born. It brought me a sense of comfort because at that point, I was scared to death of my future. I was 35, overweight, sick, and very much pregnant. I made the decision to tell my soon-to-be ex-husband because that was the right thing to do, right? Well, he told me that I was a liar, that it wasn't his, that I was the one who cheated on him, and that he wanted nothing to do with Jack. It cut me like a knife. I couldn't understand, and still don't to this day, but I had to keep moving on. One month before Jack was born, I went to stay with my parents until my maternity leave ended. I was looking through a baby book for middle names and asked her what she thought of the name Isaac. She laughed slightly and told me that she had named me Sarah after Abraham's wife, Sarah, and she too was barren and old. When she was told by an angel that she was pregnant, she laughed. She named her son Isaac, which means to laugh. She told me this child was a true miracle named by God. So, Jack Isaac it was. The closer it got to Jack being born, the more fearful I became. I was considered a high risk and we were praying that Jack would be free of any physical or mental problems. I was in the hospital for seven days with a few scares, but finally gave birth to a healthy, beautiful boy who fills my life with this overwhelming feeling of unconditional love, something that I longed for, something that I never thought I'd experience, something that I couldn't even have fathomed. I had given every piece of me to my marriage and to my husband. I gave up on my goals and dreams for him because I wanted a family. At a time when I thought my world was ending, God had another plan. He gave me what I had always dreamed of. He gave me the love I was looking for. He gave me the greatest miracle that I thought would never be, a son. As I sit here writing this, I think about the last two years and how incredibly hard they have been for me, physically and emotionally. But what I can say with certainty is that I am strong, single mother working full-time living in a studio with no friends or family close by and while i still have some bad days the joy and happiness my son gives me outweighs everything he gives me strength he gives me cure courage he pushes me to keep going and i can honestly say that he saved my life 
Never think something is out of your reach or not possible. Your life may not go in the direction you thought, but it goes in the direction it was meant to. Sarah lives on the beautiful central coast of California. She has a beautiful son, a wonderful career, and is working on finding her passions again. To find herself after a 12-year relationship, and she couldn't be more excited. Here's to a new chapter. Myself and Sarah work together through a mutual company partnership between our two businesses from 2010 to 2012. If you liked that inspirational story and would like to read more like them, please pick up this book, Beacons in the Darkness, Inspirational Stories from People I Know, available anywhere books are sold, the profits from which are dedicated to an animal rescue in Western New York State. Thank you.